Should we sit? Uh, sure. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. A friend approaches. Hello. So, you're here too? I've been here the whole time. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director Hu be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, I might as well go pay my respects. Huh. It's you! I thought you were director Hu. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it? Sesame oil or something? While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for Lantern Rite. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. 
Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Mm. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us! The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. I'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli! See you later! See you next time. Uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Shenhe, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? No need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. So I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sanglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Uh? Are Auntie Xianyun and Shanha serious right now? <coughs> oh. <sighs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shanha's various eccentricities. Mm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other, it would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Huh. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess... Maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shenhe? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun. And perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply... Can't listen to that any longer. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. 
I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyun's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. You need not change who you are. <laughs> 